So these are my ponderosa lemon uh, bushes, shrubs, trees, whatever you want to call them. And they grow extremely large lemons. Um, it's an old root stock that um, thankfully came up when my Meyer lemon uh, trees uh, died. And they're very large. Let's see. Oh, well, that one was just sitting there. Um, we'll take them inside and weigh them. They're bumpy. Uh, sometimes a little sunburnt because, again, we're in the desert southwest. And um, it's a lot of sun. And they set fruit pretty much in April. So this one does not have bad sunburn. And really, the sunburn doesn't affect the flavor. The skin on these is very thick. But these produce a ton of juice. And um, they are less um, acidic than maybe a Meyer. They're very sweet, very delicious, and I'm very glad to have them. And we are under a freeze watch tonight. Believe it or not, this is the coldest day of the year so far. So I wanted to get some of these really big ones off of the tree because my wonderful friend, uh, she lives in Illinois, um, makes limoncello and I send her a box every year and they make it and they give it away as gifts to friends and they drink it and they have a uh, great time with it. So I wanted to make sure I got them some before they froze. These are the lemons that I picked and some of them are really big and some of them are just about average this year's crop i had those lemon bushes significantly reduced last year because the weight of the lemons and the branches it was not a good thing and some of the branches broke and so there was a significant reduction that's fine i didn't get as many lemons this year they didn't grow quite as big but honestly, I don't need 600 pounds of lemons. This crop has been more than enough to satisfy my needs and all of my relations and my neighbors and miscellaneous people that are driving down the street and stop and want to have some. But what I love to do is I love to weigh them. So let's start with one that I think is the biggest. And we've got our digital scale here. Let's go ahead and... Get that ready. Okay, one pound, 10 ounces. And though the skins are really thick on these, they will produce at least eight to uh, 14 ounces of liquid, 1.10. See, they're really big. And sometimes they deceive you on how much they are going to weigh. You think you're going to get a two or three pounder. Two pounds has been about my average. This one is the, one of the smallest ones at 1.46. Let's see. Let's find a, okay, this one's a little guy. This one's, see, yeah, just 14 ounce lemon. But if you compare it to a Meyer lemon, um, they are very big. This one has a bit of sunburn. So this one is probably not one that I'll ship to someone. This is one that I will probably go ahead and juice uh, for my own for my own use. And that's fine. And I'll freeze them in ice cube trays. And then I will make lemon curd and lemoncello and Moroccan preserved lemons and uh, lemon bath salts, um, what, whatever I can figure out to do with them. Because like I said, it'll be a significant 1.65. That's a little guy too. Okay. This one, this one looked really big. Okay. One pound, 12 ounces. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, like I said, last year I broke the two pound mark. I'm not going to do it this year. That's for sure. 
and uh, hopefully my lemons survive the freeze because they have the thicker skins it is possible that they will survive the freeze and still be delicious they probably won't look terrific but you know they're a little bit ugly